Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and we're kicking into 2022, and let's make it a great new year. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master relationship is therefore about action, is not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 247, NASDAQ up 181, SP's up 52, gold contract down $2.20, traded at 1809 an ounce. We have silver up 4 cents, $22.97 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck seventy-seven, $75.56 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note, up one tick, trade in 130.18. The 30 year up 11 at 160.26 in King Dollar. King Dollar is up 74 ticks, trade in 96.09. The Euro is 113. The Yen is at 114.89. The British Pound is at 134 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Let's call, folks. Want to know what's going on in y'all world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, Bottom line, folks, is you're breaking top side. I, I don't expect we're going to have volume all week. We didn't have it last week, but guess what? Price, they are going to move this price, and it looks to me like the SPY right now is trading 476. You got over the highs. The last high was 473.54. The closing high happened to be 467. So check that out. I mean, that's what the day gave it up. This, this market doesn't want to give up price right now, not even, not even close. Now, the way that this is set up is saying that the SPY can go to 500. And I suspect you get a break like this and we're only on Monday and it's a full week. This can run all week. That's that's where this thing is shaking out, folks. Uh, so this is phenomenal. There's no doubt. NDX 100. What do we got in the NDX 100? The bottom line, the three Qs, same setup. You can have another contraction of volume out here. That being said, guess what? The closing high inside the, the Qs is a 403.99. Well, we hit 403.28 today. The all-time high is 408.71. It's going to go for it. You know, if the S&P is going to go up that high, the bottom line, the Qs, I suspect, are going to go right for this uh, 408 number. Small caps, different different ball game in the small caps, no doubt about it. You know, we take a look at these small caps, and we have with the small caps. They're higher today, uh, but they're a lot lower than where the highs are. That's for sure. And the IWM, the high is uh, 241. You're at 223. That is approaching the swing. I, I suspect it'll get up to the swing. It looks like the IWM will probably get somewhere into about 228 or 223. Now, what's going to be cool is this. So. On the S&P, I did the price projection. You know, let me put it back up again. So the, the way I, I come up with this 450 is that when you you take the, there it is right there. So we take the bottom, do you take the top of the consolidation, you take the bottom of the consolidation, a broke top side, and the bottom line is the approximately 25 points, that consolidation. So you just add 25 onto the 475, this is 500. So we'll see where uh, this baby wants to go. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness out here today, you have uh, AMD up 5.5%. You get, uh, what's this, uh, Fortnite. That's interesting, Fortnite. That's up 4.5%. Uh, you got Clack up 4%. You get NVIDIA up 4%. Taken away from it. Peloton is down 4%. You get uh, Zoom off 2.3. Pfizer is off 1.5. And Pendor Duo is on 1.2. Gold. We all look at the gold contract out here. You get a sideways move with gold today. It hit a low of uh, 18 03, we're at 18.09, and you get a sideways move. That's the bottom line. We need we need some volume in gold. I mean, you know, what we had out here last week, gold reached 18.50, then 18.15, rather, 1.815. Uh, what we had happened there at that particular point is that you went up there with 157 thousand contracts and today we've done only uh, 76,000. Now we're going to have lighter volume the whole week. Uh, bottom line, we'll see whether uh, gold can get any juice underneath it. If we go take a look at the dollar, it, what it looks like in the dollar is this. The dollar is set up basically to try to get into the lower 
end of this consolidation, which is the 95.516. You can see when you're taking a look at this, the dollar has been sideways going all the way back after it reached that high on the 24th of November. So uh, we're basically 21 uh, trading days later, and you're kind of at the same spot. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, we take a look at, you had, uh, that's interesting. Okay, so we got, let me put the S&P up there. Hmm. Let's do it this way. Oops. There we go. Okay, so we got Apple up 340. We have uh, NVIDIA up 1224. Uh, AMC's uh, up 15. Tesla's up 33. If we go take a look at Apple, what you're going to see with Apple as the market, okay, the bottom line is that we, it is moving higher with volume contract, uh, con contracting in a monster way. Last high up here at Apple was 153 uh, million shares. Right now you're going up there with 55 million, but I expect that's going to hit it. What we're talking about here is 182.13. Facebook. Facebook caught a bit out here today, and I suspect if you heard Tommy's show this morning, he I actually got an Oculus 2 also. He's talking about how amazing the thing is. Not that he likes Facebook, but uh, they, got, they got a business plan, and that's why they changed that name. Uh, and it looks like a lot of other people actually got the, that Oculus 2 and realized just how powerful this thing is. So we have a Facebook today that's up 1083. You're breaking the swing. The swing is 22 million shares. You do have 13. I suspect this is going to go to the top of the range here, which is the 353, and we'll see if we get any more juice on it. Uh, with Facebook, next time they come out with the numbers, it's going to be the 27th of January. They are going to be looking to bring to the top line $33.4 billion and to the bottom line $3.85. Uh, so we'll see how that baby's going to shake out. We take a look at the silver market. What do you have with this, inside the silver market out here? Silver right now is trading up $0.13. Cents. It's not bad. Okay, so we get 36,000 uh, contracts. And you know, it still came off the lows. I mean, it, it came back. It came down to the swing point here of uh, September 20th. Rejected lower price. It's, it's building some cars for higher price. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials up 254. NASDAQ's up 183. S&Ps are up 53. We'll come right back.